Hey everybody, it's Celine and Titch. Okay, mightn't have got the higher body because he kind of started for me. Okay. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Celine and Titch from IamHandmade.com. Just in case you missed it. And tonight, oh, that smells so sorry. <laughs> tonight we will be cutting Japanese plum, which is divine. It's all sort of goldy uh, glitter on top. It's a night a very sexy plummy purpley shade on the bottom Lovely. and there's white here you can see now the white will probably discolor to a very well it's not even brown it's more like a heavy cream color really isn't it oh yeah it's never brown it's usually cream with those um, off white really yeah well mm -hmm. yeah cream i'd say more than anything um it it's just a stunning fragrance um, it's sort of heavy, the spice and the fruit and a something, but it all works together. And a something. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? Isn't it though? It is. And this reminds me of holidays. holidays yeah. yeah. Completely, because I think it was in a body butter. Body butter, yeah. yeah. we had this. And we wore it every day, so when we smell it, we smell holidays. Okay. Lovely. Ooh, so you can see that the, the white is a little bit creamy yellowy colour. Mm, even the light still is yeah. that it's oh, quite the real light. to life. Well that is quite real to life yeah. actually. The light the in light. here in the kitchen is, is quite yellowy anyway, so that's funky. It's lovely. And I'm loving that. So These are fragrances. two of my favourite fragrances, I think Cashmere on the left and Japanese Plum here. They're both also, very nice. I think this, the hanger sort is the best design for Japanese Plum too. Yeah. Um, I think it matches the, the fragrance. It's sort of like a, a complex but simple design really, but it mm. looks very complex. It's the whole, you have to get the consistency of the batter right as well to do it. But both of these fragrances, they do, um, especially the cashmere one, it seems to set up very quickly um, on me. Um, and I thought, oh god, I'm going to have to race this. And then actually, whilst it stayed thick, <laughs> whilst it stayed thick, it, um, it was at a really nice... Uh, texture it was actually the texture the kind of texture you want when you're doing the tops of soap that sort of thicker trace but it worked really nice oh look at that mm. that's cool the um the hanger that i have is slightly too short for this the mold so it's obviously got it at some points but not completely the whole mm. way through um what was i saying the about the batter is about the same oh, as the yeah. top, so, so it, 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 go, it went quite thick and then I thought, oh god, it's, it's not going to behave, but actually, um, once it's one of those ones when you mix it up, it, it still stays a bit thick, but it behaves itself, and, you know, it's really, it really behaves itself nicely. And the top, I thought to put a really nice golden glitter on top. It goes well with the yeah. fact that the white goes off to a cream colour. Yeah, I just thought it looks kind of ornate, sort of, I think of those, oh, I don't know, like the Tudors, you know, the way they have really ornate, sort of, the dresses would have really gold thread and really dark colours and that sort of, sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? Luxurious, not luxurious. Ornate. I don't know. One of those words. Just like rich and bold and sort of a little bit show offy. Yeah. Like I'm so rich, you know. You should see your facial Hi. expressions <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> the whole time she's talking there, her facial expressions are hilarious. <laughs> see, hang on, didn't quite go through. Ooh, that's all right. Don't worry about that. I went through there, which is all the matter is really. Lovely and the difference between the two. Not much really. Very nice. Now the report is identical to them, so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a rich, deep colour. And 
a fragrance. I mean, and I tried to do that with the colours as well, and that's hence the gold on top and all that as well. Love it. It's very nice. So I'm going to sit down and trim all these up. Titch is going to read to me for a bit. She's going to do make tea for everybody because that's what she does because she's a good girl. With the tea monk. Have the tea the monkey. Yeah, I've yeah, been talking about tea monk in ages actually, haven't you? No, it's usually when I'm away and you say, oh, Mr. Tea Monkey, but I've been here so much now. It's like, good. Yeah, it's good. Good. Um, so she'll be doing her tea monkey act then. And coffee. Oh, yes. Eight o'clock. We go, mmm, we all fancy cup of tea, and that's what she does. Well, it's half eight now, so I'm running a bit late. But anyway, it's left to wait. Hard. Tough. And then she'll sit down with a cup of tea, and I'll have my cup of tea, and we'll be working on these, and she'll read to me, and we'll chat, and it's nice to me. I like it a lot, don't it, Titi? We do. And it's a nice, peaceful, quiet time. Yes. And I, I advise any sofas, if they can, to get some to sit with them when they're doing stuff like this, because it's just. And it's read nice. about horrific murders. Well, I mean, that's us. <laughs> that's personal. But choice. it's just nice to, to have that quiet time to do stuff and, and share and sit and talk, not sit in front of the TV or stuff all the time. Anyway, so that is um, Japanese plum, which is like a very deep plummy purple colour with a, a real rich sort of vintage cream colour as well swirled into it. So I hope you like. And just when you mentioned vintage, that's good lovely with your vintage cream hand cloths. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't just the Actually ones it would, that would be a lovely set together. Very good. Yeah, and you wait now, crochet them yourself or knit it? Possibly some of both. <laughs> I did I can't remember. Lots of both. She's so talented she does both. Well, I did lots of both. I, I go through sort of fits of new crafts. So. That's for sure. You well, I used to knit professionally, don't forget, um, design jumpers and uh, clothes for people and stuff like that. And I started that when I was about 14, so um, so it's not really a new hobby, it was more like taking up something I hadn't done in a long, long time. I had carpal tunnel syndrome from that mm. for quite a time, to the point where if I knit for about 10 lines, then my my arms from elbow to fingertip would go completely numb you could have chopped them off I wouldn't have felt anything so I was wary of doing it again but mm. it was okay as long as I rested my hands in between yeah um but I seem to go through fits and starts and things like that you something do. is the I've only thing I really anyone like that <laughs> Yeah. It's funny because everything is full on. Yeah, well, no, you should see she's got she subscribed to um, a crochet magazine thing. She got like what 10, 11 issues, 12 and 20. 20 yeah. yeah, and I think 19 to 20 are still unopened upstairs in a little magazine basket. Yes, thing. <laughs> well, be, when I get the fit on again, they're there for me. I hope it's and when and not yeah, if. <laughs> each one of them has a ball of wool in it and I will make that rug that goes on it and it will be done and I don't have to wait week to week with one square made sort of thing every week. I have an excuse for everything, don't you? I do. A bit like you wonder where I learned it from. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that is Japanese Plum. Um, Titi will be taking photos tomorrow and it should be on the website for pre-order weekend or so. I'll try and get her to do it sooner, but you never know with her. I'll bribe her if with I can, tea. If I can, if I feel up to it or I want to soap. But look, you know me, I just do what I fancy doing. And you won't be told. And I won't be told. So, you know, I'm the boss of me. Yeah. Not you, girly. Not mm. you, girly. Alright, so hope you enjoy it. Um, I should be soaping on Saturday. We've decided to take a day off on Sunday, so I don't think any soaping, though I probably will be packing orders. Oh, yes, we have a we lot have to a go out. We stack of orders going out yeah. soon. Some soap, well, no, a lot of soaps were due to be cured the 29th of April, so um, yes, a so lot will be going out. Stack upon a stack upon a stack. So I imagine we'll be packing until there's, it'll be like Christmas in Santa's toy shop or something. Except like we're that. giving them all away. <laughs> Well, Santa gives them oh yeah, Santa does, yeah, sorry, I was thinking of receiving um, them. So yeah, that'll be our weekend I'd say, but that's cool. Yeah. Can't wait. 
So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and you like the soap. Um, leave comments if you wish. I know I'm absolutely dreadful about answering back, but I promise I do read every single one of them. Um, I don't know why I'm so bad about it. You sound like back. a celebrity. All oh, the soap on it. No. Terrible replying, but I do see them now. <laughs> but I do, and, I, and I'm really good at answering Facebook back. Yeah. I try, you know, I answer every single thing and I make it a rule to do that and yet yeah. the YouTube ones I don't and it's terrible, it's so bad. I think it's because of so many videos now it's hard to have to keep clicking into each and Well see. yeah but it catches, my email catches all of them so I could keep up with It's them. one you rarely go into though. I know and the last one I went into there was like 300 emails on it or something and then when it becomes that big it's almost too big to handle yeah. and then I go oh I, ca I can't answer all of these and some of them are back to videos from like a year ago and I can't even remember what I said to answer the thing. Yeah. So Sometimes I go through phases where I log in for Celine when I'm sitting next to her and I read out the comments and I say what would you like to say back to that and I'm a real PA for you. Yeah. Um, but well, maybe God, we should get better at that though because yeah. like, I'm actually beginning to feel really guilty that people make the effort to make a comment and yet I don't respond it's, it's an awful different. lot of subscribers I and know, but it's a bit like I'm ignoring them which is really rude because I'm not because I don't no, read not. them so um, so my, my sincerest and humblest apologies I'm not being really rude and I'm not a rude person but a free bar of soap for everyone get lost <laughs> get lost um <laughs> But it, there's only so much one person can do, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, only so much two people can do as well. Two people. And the making the making of the soap is kind of what runs it, so that's the key. Yeah. Really. Okay. And making the videos, because you can make soap all you want, but people won't be able to see it. So True. technically, I'm just brilliant. Yes, you are brilliant. You absolutely yeah. are. Okay, so um, we will see you soon. We'll have a, another video shortly, I'm sure. Do you want to cut these samples like yesterday? Yeah, you should. I was going to cut the samples, but Titi did them all yesterday and she enjoyed it, so I'll leave I it did. to her. <laughs> Alright, so we say goodbye and hope you enjoy and um, so move the video around. around. This is probably like really boring, just standing there looking at the same photo thing. There. So cashmere silk. Japanese plum. So there's so much I can do because I can't get inside this is, them, this so is you know. Titchy's just there. Look, she's just straight through the camera lens all the way through and there. <laughs> that virtually looked like a finger and Oh <laughs> Children watching. <laughs> so rude. I didn't say nothing. You're the one that's thinking so I said rude. something. I was gonna okay. say lollipop. We are going to say <laughs> Bye. -ya. Bye -ya.